protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com In more domestic news, people are feeling the burn, but not in the way that they did earlier this year. They're feeling burned by Bernie Sanders with his endorsement of Madden Clinton. And we see that uh, people are taking to Twitter, they're taking to uh, their, their social media platforms to say, I'm so disappointed that Bernie Sanders sold out millions and many of us fell for it. One former fan tweeted, never again. Personally, I don't think I will support Hillary. I don't trust her, a Sanders fan told Fortune. I can't see myself backing someone I don't believe in. And it goes on and on from there. Because if you guys recall, Bernie Sanders was supposed to be the guy who was anti-establishment. He's going to come in and he's going to bust up the banks. And he's not like these other career politicians who got all the, the dirt and the, and the skeletons in the closet. And then he turns around and he <laughs> endorses the person who has all the dirt and the skeletons in the closet. And I'm not a Sanders supporter, nor was I ever, but I did like him more than Mrs. Clinton because in a very similar way to Obama, I wanted to believe in what he was saying and what his intentions were, you know, because people always say, uh, you know, he says he's going to do this. He says he wants to do that. Look at the presidents throughout history. Even if they really wanted to do all the things they said in their campaign speeches, how many of those things did they actually accomplish? Just uh, look at Ob Obama, for example. He says he's going to shut down Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo Bay is still well and open. Uh, he says he's going to end these foreign conflicts. Foreign conflicts are still going on. He said he's going to uh, repeal the Patriot Act, or at least not resign the Patriot Act. He resigned the Patriot Act, threw in the NDAA for good measure, uh, pro pers persecution of journalists, and on and on and on, and all these things in the most transparent administration in United States history. That <laughs> and, and it's such a misnomer. I can't even say it without laughing. In a similar way, if I wanted to believe Bernie Sanders could actually do these things, it doesn't mean he'd actually get them done. But to see him endorse Hillary Clinton, I'm really not a fan of that. I would have much preferred him just rode off into the sunset, did his own thing. He's an old guy, but maybe he could have ran again in the next election cycle, but who knows? And I think he's pretty much uh, scorched the earth with his own supporters at this point. So if he did want to come out for another run, he uh, pretty much shot himself in the foot. But as we're talking about all things Clinton, let's talk about the FBI director, uh, Comey, and his decision not to prosecute Clinton. And we have this article from Kurt Nemo who dictates how uh, the FBI boss is connected to the Clinton Foundation. On Monday, Republicans sent a letter demanding to know why Comey didn't recommend federal charges against Hillary Clinton over her use of private email servers. Clinton clearly placed our nation's secrets in peril, the, later, the letter states. The letter also mentions emails deleted by Clinton and forensically recovered by the FBI. They want to know if the emails had anything to do with the Clinton Foundation. Comey did not recommend federal charges in part because he is connected to the Clinton Foundation through HSBC. Comey was appointed director of HSBC Holdings in March 2013. Now, once again, when we think about Bernie Sanders, he's going to bust up the big banks. He's not the career politician. He's not like all these other guys. He's an outsider. He's for you. He's going to fight the 1%. He's going to do all this stuff. He's going to give you free college and all the rest of it. And then he comes back and backs Miss, Mrs. Clinton, who wants to uh, be in, in good company with the big banks, who is being funded by the big banks, who has all the things, who is exactly the opposite on paper, uh, so we're told, of a Bernie Sanders. And now he's supporting her just to support the party line. This isn't the type of guy that uh, I'd want to support. And this is why I realized this so many months ago. I was like, well, you know, I don't think he's all that much different. Yeah, he can say all the talking points. He can uh, go after his niche type of audience, the young college students, all this. But at the end of the day, I think he's a career politician like any of these other guys. And that's exactly what the guy turned out to be. He showed his uh, true colors in a similar way that Ted Cruz did many months ago. Now we see uh, Mr. Sanders coming out and supporting Hillary Clinton, not saying let's go after her for the emails, even though he had previously mentioned that in his debates with her. We need to talk about the emails. We need to look at some of these other things. And now at the end of the day, when the rubber hits the road, he's willing to back his party no matter what. And this is my issue with political parties here in the United States of America, because people ask me, are you Republican? Are you a Democrat? Are you a Libertarian? My views are more Libertarian in nature, but I don't support any one party because I don't want to be, you know, that straight ticket guy. I don't want to vote for a party or support a party just because 
I, I'm registered that on my voting log. That doesn't make sense to me because I don't want to back some guy that I don't believe in or back a policy that I don't believe in just because they write it on their ticket. If you want to be a true ex, you have to agree with everything that's on this list. Well, I don't agree with that, that, that. Well, you can't be in our club. Like, fine, I won't be in your club. You go run your club the way you want to. I'm not going to participate in this. I'm going to be like George Carl in this election. I'm going to sit back, watch everybody else wreck the country. I'm going to say, this was your fault. I had nothing to do with it. And this guy sent me something on Twitter a few months ago. And he was telling me about, uh, well, he was asking me why I didn't support Trump. And I gave him my reasons. I, you guys know those reasons. But um, he's like, this isn't the time for a conscientious vote. I was like, bro, it's been time for a conscientious vote ever since Kennedy got shot in the head. Because ever since then, and possibly even before then, you get all these people scrambling to their parties to save them. I don't like this guy, but I'm going to vote for this guy because he's in my party. I don't like her, but I'm going to vote for her because she's in my party. And at the end of the day, you get these guys who are handpicked by the same elites, or selected by the same elites, who have pretty much the same agendas. You look at uh, people in the Democratic Party, or the Republican Party. You see Marco Rubio and Hillary Clinton were being funded by the same people. Do you really think the people at the top really care who gets into the election? I, I don't think so. They have their hands in each pocket, and you can debate to an extent Trump. I do think the guy's a little bit different, but at the same time, he's not somebody I'd write home about and uh, put all my faith in personally. But continuing on, we're going to talk about some more Clinton news. Uh, the Attorney General Lynch has defended her social chat with Bill Clinton and has refused to comment on facts of the investigation, but decided to uh, some time ago to rubber stamp the FBI decision. Now, this is a classic conflict of interest. I give the example of jury duty. If you get selected for jury duty and you go in to the, to the courthouse and they say, hey, do you know person X? And you say, yeah, I know person X. And, you know, we hang out, we talk about our kids, we talk about sports. They say, excuse me, sir, uh, you're, you're let go. We don't want you on our jury. You're not a fair and impartial juror. Meanwhile, you have uh, the Attorney General of the United States of America who's ready to rubber stamp, and she's good friends with the, with the Clintons to the fact where they can sit around and talk about their grandchildren. That is a blatant conflict of interest. Moving quickly now, I want to talk about uh, some of the recent shootings that happened here in the United States of America, and in particular, uh, a certain actor. And when I say this, I'm not blaming this actor. I'm just using him as a bellwether, as an example. He came out and he blamed the NRA for the Michigan courthouse shooting. If you guys don't recall, the two bailiffs got shot on Monday, or two bailiffs were murdered on Monday. Other people were shot. And basically, this was an inmate who stole a gun from a police officer, just like the guy who tried to kill Donald Trump. He stole a firearm. And then the tweets come out, and the guy, the, the, the celebrity is saying, hey, we need to ban the guns. It's the NRA's fault. F the NRA. And people said, uh, this guy stole a gun, just like the guy who tried to kill Trump, which is to say, yeah, you can get your guns legally if you're a United States citizen, you don't have a criminal record and all of that. But at the same time, at the end of the day, if a criminal wants to get a gun, they are willing to steal a gun from an active duty conscious police officer. That, you know, banning guns isn't going to lessen crime in the United States of America. People may use a different weapon to commit their crime, but they're still going to uh, steal guns if they have to, if that's what they have to do to accomplish their goals. And now, real quickly, this is a sign of the times. People are so out of touch, they actually think that a porn star is about to become the prime minister over in the UK. And this is the uh, British lawmaker, Theresa May, and not the adult actress, as many people confused her with being. It's uh, somewhat of a funny article, and you can read that at your leisure. But finally tonight, going to warn you guys about Pokemon Go. Now, I'm not as critical about the app as some other people are, but just basically so you know, people are taking advantage of the app to rob you. So you got people looking around their phones, going into the woods, hey, I'm gonna catch some Pokemon, and then they you know, catch a bonk to the head because they got robbed by people who set them up over the app. So just something for you to know as we go in to our next segment. So stay tuned right after this break for more special reports. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own 
air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality, turn off our hormones, and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands, and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.